Roasting chicken parts is really as easy as roasting a whole chicken. In fact, it's a lot easier. It's less fussy, less mess, and you can ensure that all of the parts cook at the right temperature. In this recipe, we're roasting chicken leg quarters with cauliflower, shallots, and grape tomatoes for a fantastic, full-flavored one-pan meal that you can make in less than an hour. Now, the key to a one-pan meal is matching the vegetables with the protein that you're cooking. So in this case, we needed to find a vegetable that would roast in the amount of time that the leg quarters would take and that benefited from roasting, that actually tasted better roasted. And we found that cauliflower was a great match in this recipe. Roasting really brings out the flavor in the cauliflower. We get some nice browning that gives us a nutty flavor. And depending on how we cut the cauliflower, that was how we could work within the timing of the leg quarters. So to do that, I'm basically going to cut off or tear off the leaves around the head of cauliflower. This is a two pound head of cauliflower. And then I want to trim the stem so that it's flush with the bottom of the head. We want to keep the stem in there because I'm going to be cutting the cauliflower into wedges and that'll hold it together. I'm going to cut the cauliflower into eight wedges. So we'll cut it into quarters and then cut those quarters in half. So this will leave the wedges big enough that they can cook in the same time as the leg quarters without overcooking. And by cutting the cauliflower into wedges, we have these nice flat edges that will sit on the bottom of the pan and get some really great browning on them. So I'll just transfer these to my rimmed baking sheet for now. We're just gonna keep building flavor in this one pan dish. So in addition to the cauliflower that has kind of a mild flavor, I have some shallots. These are six shallots that I've already peeled. I'm just gonna cut them in half. Roasted shallots are milder than onions, but they're going to pick up some of that nice caramelization that onions do when you roast them. The flavor will just be a little bit milder, a little bit sweeter. And then finally, gotta have a nice fresh herb. So I have some sage here. I'm actually going to use the sage in two places in the recipe, but I'll mince it now and divide it. Sage will be a nice, assertive, hearty herb to go with these hearty flavors. So I need a tablespoon now and a tablespoon later. I'll just sprinkle that on and I'll save this bit. Now we're going to toss the vegetables right in the roasting pan. So I have two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I also have a teaspoon of kosher salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. I'll just give these a toss, try to get them evenly coated. Toss them gently because you want to keep the cauliflower wedges intact. All right, now once everything is nice and coated, try to gather the vegetables into the center of the pan. You want them in a single layer. Anytime you're doing a one pan meal, if the recipe is very specific about how you orient things, it's because that's how it's gonna cook best. So make sure you follow the recipe really closely. And I'll tell you why in just a couple minutes. Now leg quarters might be one of the most woefully underused parts of the chicken. And I'm not quite sure why. They're super economical. It's almost impossible to overcook them. It's dark meat. If you like dark meat, this is a really great option for you. And it's already a single serving. These are four 10 ounce chicken leg quarters and you have your thigh and your drumstick attached. Any chicken before we're gonna roast, we wanna pat it dry. But the thing about leg quarters is that the skin is thicker and fattier than it is on chicken breast, for instance. And so we need to adjust to deal with that. So the way we're gonna do that is by making a series of slashes through the skin, actually all the way down to the bone. We're not just slicing the skin, we're not just marking it. We wanna go right down to the bone. So I'm, I'll make a cut, two cuts across the thighs, a cut across the joint, and a cut across the drumstick. Now this is going to help us out in a number of ways. We're cutting into the skin and so that's gonna make it easier for the fat to render. It's kind of like an exit route for the fat to get out of the skin. And by cutting into the meat, we're also gonna make it more efficient for it to cook. It'll cook a lot faster. All right, now that I've slashed them, I'm going to season them with salt and pepper. So I use kosher salts 
to season the vegetables, I'm using kosher salt here. The kosher salt crystals are bigger, so it's easier to get a pinch and to make that pinch go where you want it to go. All right, and then some pepper. All right now, here's where the arrangement comes into play. So I'm going to place the leg quarters around the outside of the rimmed baking sheet. I'm going to make it look so they're kind of chasing each other around the pan. We know that the outside of the rimmed baking sheet gets hotter than the inside. So these leg quarters can handle the heat. They can take the heat. Bring it on is what they're saying. <laughs> Whereas the cauliflower, you know, it's, it's not quite as hardy, it's not quite as sturdy as the chicken. So we're protecting it and the shallots by placing them on the inside of the pan where it doesn't get quite as hot. We already have salt and pepper on the chicken, but we really want to make this a memorable one pan. So there's one more quick step. I'm going to take. I'm going to make an infused oil to brush over the chicken. So I have two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two garlic cloves that I've minced, a teaspoon of lemon zest, and the other tablespoon of sage that I minced earlier. So I'll just mix those together. So we want to make sure that that chicken is just as flavorful as the vegetables are. All right, so I'm just going to brush this all over the chicken. And we're going to use every bit of this infused oil. So get in there, get in the nooks and crannies, get in those, those cuts that we made. If raw chicken could look good, this looks pretty good. <laughs> so just double check and make sure your, your vegetables are all flush with the pan. They're in one layer. I have the oven heated to 475 degrees. I have one rack in the lower middle position. That's where this tray is going to go for 25 to 30 minutes. But I also put my other rack six inches from the broiler element, because we're going to end up broiling this a little bit later. Now, leg quarters can go beyond 175. Basically, that's the baseline where dark meat is comfortable to eat. It's definitely safe, but it's going to get more tender as it goes a little bit higher. More of the collagen will break down. The meat will get more tender. So make sure you're going by the color of the cauliflower. Give it a chance to get nice and brown, and the flavor will be fantastic. So I'm going to wash up and pop this in the oven, 25 to 30 minutes. All right, so this actually went for about 30 minutes because I wanted to make sure that the cauliflower was nice and brown. And you can see, it has some really great color on the edges. That's gonna be really great flavor when we go to eat it. The chicken has some good color on it too, but I want that skin to be a little more crisp and a little more brown. So I turn my broiler on, turn your broiler on to high, and this is going to go back in the oven on that upper rack, like I mentioned earlier. But first, we want to add a nice bright pop of flavor and some color too, because this is a little beigey right now, even though beige is also beautiful and delicious. I have seven and a half ounces of grape tomatoes, and I'm just going to scatter those. It doesn't really matter where you put it now, because the broiler is going to be pretty intense heat. We want the tomatoes to kind of wilt a little bit. They're not going to fully break down in the short amount of time that they're in the oven, but they'll just soften and get super juicy and add a really nice bright flavor to the dish. So now back in the oven under the broiler for three to five minutes until we get really great color and crispy skin. Oh, look at this. Now, the one thing you always have to worry about with your broiler is broiler outputs vary incredibly. So always start at the low end of the range. You can see I have some really great browning on here and I only went three minutes and then I could start to smell something. So trust your nose but also make sure you set your timer on the low end of the spectrum especially when it comes to broiling. But this looks pretty darn fantastic. I have a tablespoon of chopped parsley just to give us a little fresh herby flavor. And one of the best things about chicken leg quarters is you don't have to carve them. They're already in perfect serving pieces. Let me show you. There you go. No messy carving, that's easy enough. Get some cauliflower wedges. And then don't forget those grape tomatoes. So I mean, this was super low fuss, super easy to do, but really satisfying. The chicken's gonna have great flavor on it. We'll just serve these with some lemon wedges for a little bright pop of flavor little acidity to kind of finish off the dish. This is the kind of one pan meal you want to add to your, your recipe collection. You've got juicy chicken, 
easy prep, and perfect vegetables all in one pan. All in less than an hour.